Two young actresses who have no idea who we are. <laughs> Please welcome Amanda Seyfried and Miley Cyrus. Tonight celebrates the 75th year of the Best Original Song category. Among the winning writers, Rodgers and Hammerstein, Elton John, Stephen Sondheim, Isaac Hayes, Barbara Streisand, Eminem. They won not just for writing a great song, but for writing a great song specifically for a motion picture to serve a spe uh, specific function in the movie. We're both kind of nervous. <laughs> it's our first time on this stage. Let's just look at how these songs were used in those movies, whether sung by real people, animated people, or animated real people. Here are the nominees for Best Original Song. Almost There from The Princess and the Frog. Music and lyric by Randy Newman. Down in New Orleans from The Princess and the Frog. Music and lyric by Randy Newman. Luanda Panam from Paris 36. Music by Reinhard Wagner, lyric by Frank Thomas. Take It All from Nine. Music and lyric by Maury Yeston. The Weary Kind from Crazy Heart. Music and lyric by Ryan Bingham and T-Bone Burnett. And the winners are Ryan Bingham and T-Bone Burnett, the weary kind of crazy heart. This is the first Academy Award and nomination for Ryan Bingham. And this is the first Oscar and second nomination for T-Bone Burnett. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Anna. I love you more than rainbows, baby. Uh, my Uncle Clay, my band, Jack Wiggum, uh, Scott Cooper, the, the cast of, of Crazy Heart, uh, Jeff and Maggie and Colin and Mr. Bob, everyone at Fox Searchlight, uh, and Mr. T-Bone Burnett and Stephen Bruton. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Chris Pine. Pine.
This year, all of us were kept on the edge of our seats by a film that was part science fiction, part terrifying thriller. It was a great combination. A small budget film that made a big impact with both audiences and critics alike. Inspired by events in South Africa during the era of apartheid, this is District 9. The ship coasted to a halt directly over the city of Johannesburg. It just hovered there, nobody could get in. Today we start a very complex and delicate operation. We're going to appoint a field officer to take direct command. You want to talk to them or you want to talk to me? The government then started to ferry the aliens to a temporary camp. And eventually the rioting started. What? Uh, but, but black stuff coming up in the north. You're going to turn into one of them. What is happening to mom, doctor? Don't give up on me, because I haven't given up on you. There's a lot of secrets in District 9. The 82nd Annual Academy Awards will be right back with Tina Fey and Robert Downey Jr. here on ABC. The Academy Awards, the biggest night in Hollywood since last night. <laughs> He's an Academy Award winning actor, and she is the most beautiful, brilliant, and talented woman in all of show business, and I'm not just saying that because she revived my career. Here are Robert Downey Jr. and Tina Fey. Great movies begin with great writing. What does an actor look for in a script? Specificity, emotional honesty, catharsis. And what does a writer look for in an actor? Memorizing, not paraphrasing, fear of ad-libbing. Actors. One scripts with social relevance, warm weather locations, <laughs> phone call scenes that can be shot separately from that insane actress that I hate, <laughs> and long, dense columns of uninterrupted monologue, turning the page, and for instance, seeing the phrase, Tony Stark continued. <laughs> And we writers dream of a future where actors are mostly computer generated and their performances can be adjusted by us on a laptop alone. It's a collaboration. <laughs> a collaboration between handsome gifted people and sickly little mole people. No, it's... <laughs> it's really not. You should just say whatever we you type. You know what? I should... Just you say, should. say that. Uh, here are the nominees for Best Original Screenplay. Thank you. The Hurt Locker by Mark Bowl. Sanborn leans into the window. Sanborn. Hey, Jane. There you are. Sanborn jabs him in the jaw, knocking the cigarette out. Never turn your head set off again. Inglorious Bastards by Quentin Tarantino. Aldo says to Werner with a giggle in his voice. Actually, we're all tickled to hear you say that. Quite frankly, watching Donnie beat Nazis to death is as close as we ever get to going to the movies. Donnie! He turns to the camera and yells. Yeah! Guy's German here wants to die for the country. Oblige him. The Messenger by Alessandro Camon and Oren Moverman. Sergeant, one more thing. Will stops, turns. Tony. We make it our business to deliver the news within 24 hours of positive ID. The ideal has been four. We're racing Fox, CNN, Drudge Report, what have you. Not to mention any soldier with a cell phone or webcam. A Serious Man by Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen. You're in the doghouse, huh? Yes. She hands him a glass and sits on the couch next to him. Not invasively close, one bare leg folded beneath her. Do you take 